In this tutorial, we are going to talk about important points for creating optimal mods. Since not every user has a high-end PC, it makes sense to reduce the usage of memory and other resources to the fullest possible extent. First of all, it is important to make sure that we model tractors or machines with a reasonable amount of polygons. Depending on the size, a trailer or equipment should preferably be made up of less than 15,000 triangles. In case of a tractor, we should not use more than 25,000 triangles. And for very large and complex machines like combined harvesters, only the details that are very important should be modeled. For these models, 50,000 triangles should be the limit. In order to create beautiful and detailed models, the small details such as screws, rivets or cables must not be modeled, but should be drawn on the diffuse texture and the normal map. At the same time, however, the texture memory should also be respected. That means, with a few exceptions, every model should have exactly one material, consisting of a diffuse map, normal map and, if required, a specular map. Exceptions are the wheels of tractors, thrashes and trailers that can also use one material separate from the model. Glass panels are another special case. Firstly, these must be merged together in a single model and use the window material with a small semi-transparent glass diffuse texture without normal map and without specular map. Objects that do not move separately and use the same material should also be merged into one single model. In case of the textures, we need to generally make sure that they always correspond to a power of 2 in height and width. Usual sizes are 128, 256, 512 and 1024. Rectangles, for example, 1024 by 256 are allowed. We just have to make sure that the height and width exhibit a power of two size. The absolute maximum is 2048 by 2048 pixels. Larger textures cannot be processed by older graphics cards. While working on the textures, always use lossless formats such as PNG. Once the textures are finalized, they should be converted into DDS format as described in the NVIDIA plugin tutorial before releasing the mod. It still makes sense to use the common naming format of Farming Simulator for a better overview. The three textures of a material should therefore always have the same and if possible English names, for instance stone. Then the type of texture is added after the underscore, thus underscore diffuse, underscore normal or underscore specular. That would result in stone underscore diffuse DDS for the diffuse map of a stone. Texture space should be used efficiently. It does not make any sense to use 1024 by 1024 size texture for a 2 meter stone. The texture will never be displayed in its full resolution as the object is too small. The size of the texture is therefore dependent on the actual size of an object. Since limited amount of texture memory is available, we also make sure that the repeating elements are drawn only once on the texture and we use this part of the texture for each repetition. The same is the case with symmetrical parts of an object. We need to draw only half of a symmetrical object and then simply cover the other side with the same texture. If we adhere to these principles, then our mods will load faster, use less memory and look better.